guys welcome back to my channel today i kind of wanted to just share um some items that i have already bought in for baby number three i had an appointment last week so right now i'm 13 weeks along when you see this video i will be farther along than that but um last week i had a doctor's appointment actually just a few days ago and the heartbeat was at 160 so we will see we are finding out if it's a boy or a girl i really want to know the gender just because if it is a girl which i'm not counting on just because i can anticipate myself having all boys which i am completely fine with but if it is a girl i want to know because I have always wanted a girl and I want to make sure that I have like a really cute nursery. I have a nursery picked up for a girl since when I found when I was pregnant with Carson. I had picked out a nursery for a boy and a girl. So I still want that same nursery if I do ever have a girl. Um, and I just want to know if I had a girl because I want to get her cute clothes and that kind of stuff. So if the third is a girl... The fourth, I would be okay with not knowing because then we actually have everything for both. And then I already had my cute girl nursery at least once. So, But I'm not counting on that it's a girl at all, even though this pregnancy has been completely different than the rest. I'll actually film a video on first trimester like symptoms and that kind of stuff. But today, I actually just wanted to show you guys what I have already bought for baby number three. Um, since I will have three under three, yes, I know people think that I'm crazy. Um, some days I think that I am crazy. Like, why am I doing this to myself? But, um, with baby number three, I have been all about convenience at this point. I am just, yeah, really all about convenience. So with my first two pregnancies, I really researched everything that I bought. There was only a few items that I didn't fully research and then I ended up actually giving away my old ones and then buying new ones because I did a little bit more research and wanted to be more convenient. So one of the things I didn't research was actually um, a bassinet. I just had a basic bassinet for the first for my first boys. They did not like it at all they didn't sleep in the bassinet for very long at all like i am talking two to maybe four weeks i don't even think they were in there for four weeks and then we had to switch them over to a crib because i hated it so much now i'm not sure if i'm gonna buy this or not because it's not even out yet but if you guys are new to my channel i have two boys less than a year apart one's 10 months right now and the other one is almost two they both they turned one and two in Feb mid-february um, I am, I absolutely love my Mama Roo. I am obsessed with Four Moms brand. I love it. Um, my Mama Roo, both of my sons absolutely loved it. My first son, Carson, who's almost two, that was all he would sleep in for the first, like, at least two plus weeks. Sorry if you hear noises, we're dog sitting and he's eating right now. My other, my dogs are actually at the groomers getting their hair cut and then Samson, our great Dana, is actually getting a bath because he is starting to smell. Anyways, moving on. So I am a huge advocate for Four Moms Mamaru. I loved it personally. Both of my kids loved it. Now I've also heard that it could go either way. Um, some kids don't like it and some kids absolutely love it. Well, my kids loved it. Thank goodness and in February the four moms is actually coming out with a bassinet That is exactly like a mama roo. It has the same motions as a mama roo, but as a bassinet so depending on price I might end up getting it just because both of my boys love the bassinet they love the way it moved so if it's not insanely expensive I think I might end up getting it because I actually gave away my other bassinet because honestly I thought you know what why should I keep this bassinet around when none of my kids like it so okay that's one thing that I might get I'm still on the rocks but 
I think I might end up getting it if it's not like too insanely expensive. The next thing was, um, I didn't fully research when I bought it was my stroller car seat combo. I did get a new stroller with our second child. Um, I ended up getting the Uno to Duo stroller, which I did a review on it and I have a video of it. I can link it below. Best stroller of my life. I absolutely love that stroller. But then I still was using the old car seat I had, like the carrying car seat for Caden, my almost one year old. So I was using the car seat with him, but with this third baby, I did research and I actually got a different car seat that's more convenient. I think it's the a Graco Snug Ride Snug Lock Extend to Fit. The reason why I decided to buy a new car seat, even though our other one was still okay, was for the convenience. Like I said earlier, this one, I will show you, but I'm gonna quick explain kind of why I got this one. The reason why I got this car seat was because my other car seat to push the handle down to get the baby out, you needed to hit two red buttons on the side, on each side, you needed two hands to do it. This one, there's a red button right on top to just put it down. I am going to show you now the car seat I got. So, <clears throat> this is the car seat I got. So, here, the button's on the outside. My other one, you had to like go underneath and push it to loosen the straps, so that's here. This, you can just tell this is way more sturdy than my last one. That is dog slobber. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, all of that's dog slobber because I just had it on the floor. So this headrest, actually there's a button in the back that pulls it up and then it lifts these up. So it's more like my um, car seats that I have for my older boys. And then this was seriously the main reason why I bought it. One button to fold it down instead of having the, I had the two on the sides here. Main reason why I bought it, so convenient. Normally that car seat, it says the list price is $229. I think you can normally get it for like between $160 and $180. But I actually, when it comes to car seats or more expensive baby stuff, I keep an eye on when they go on sale. And when I got it for $122, which I thought was pretty good because it's a car seat. And then it comes with the base. I was gonna try to record this video while the kids were sleeping. It did not work out because my dad ended up coming over. But both kids are awake. I'm just gonna leave Caden for, for just a little while. So that was a, like a huge thing that I bought with Carson, I chose to not breastfeed at all. That's just not something I wanted to do. With Carson, I decided to just strictly pump. Um, and then with the third one, I think what I'm gonna do too, again, is just strictly pump. So when you're just strictly pumping, it is a lot of work just pumping. It Like you are hooked to the pump. So this time, the last time I just had like a Medela, I don't even know what kind it was, just like the basic Medela one. This time I actually bought the LV pump. I am so excited to use it because I just think it's going to be such a game changer. So I've heard that this, like these type of pumps don't have as much suction as the Modelo ones, but honestly, or as the just any other pump. But honestly, I think I would rather be hooked up to a pump longer and be able to walk around and do stuff and have people not notice that I'm pumping than to be sitting there and pumping for less time because it's a hassle. My door, like our front door is always locked because we always have people just coming and visiting in and out. I don't know, we just, I don't know if that's normal for people, but that's honestly how it is at our house. Most days, I have our front door unlocked because my parents come over, friends come over. There's just almost always people coming over. So, 
Thank you, buddy. So anyways, oh. that's why I really wanted to get these. They are kind of pricey, but um, I think it will be worth it. I got mine on Black Friday, so I did get $50 off. So I paid $450 for mine instead of $500, which that's still expensive. I'm not even going to lie. That's pretty expensive. But you know what? I think that like it's going to be so worth it. I'll kind of show you guys them. I'm not breastfeeding anymore right now. I quit at six months with Kaden. So I'm hoping that these will actually get me to last longer too because it just got to the point where I just got so sick of always being attached to the pump that it was just, I just didn't want to do it anymore. So this is what one of them looks like. You get two of these and they are pretty silent like you cannot hear them i tried it out just to see how loud it was you couldn't hear them you can't really even notice that there's this is in your bra because what you do is this actually just sits inside your bra and then you have an app on your phone right now it just says connecting because i don't have them on let's see but you just turn it on like it's so easy because this button on the top this comes out and this is um, where your milk goes so it's pretty easy to wash so you have that piece and then you have the flange this piece that you wash and that's it that's it I mean like the pieces come apart on it but yeah so really really simple um, you just turn them on you can see on your phone you can do everything from your phone you can see how much you're pumping on your phone and the part that I was excited for was that so you can only pump this container only holds five ounces of milk I think four or five yeah it's about five ounces of milk but it will stop when it's full and it will let you know when it's full instead of like when I was doing when I use my Medela pump sometimes especially at night they would overflow and I wouldn't notice until I felt like milk flying everywhere so that's gonna be nice and you also can, you just put them in your bra. It's just so nice. I'm so excited to use these. Yeah, how oh, it's, I mean, it's all connected to your phone. You just use your phone to do it. It'll tell you how much milk it is. Like that is just a huge game changer to me because just being able to walk around and not being hooked up to a pump is just gonna be life changer. So yes, they are expensive but i've heard good reviews on them so i am excited for them i really am so that is um all that i've bought right now but later on i plan to get an uh owlette because i finally convinced my husband to let me get the owlette baby monitor um i have wanted one for so long but we had an angel care uh pad that one underneath but it honestly doesn't work that well it only works really when they're newborns or if they don't move at all when they're sleeping but if they move then the mat it doesn't work because they're moving so that's probably the only the next thing I'll buy other than that really um, unless it's a girl I don't really need anything because we already have everything else so yeah the only thing is really the owlette and then possibly the four moms bassinet we'll see like I said um, yeah, but I'm definitely all about convenience this time because Carson, that was not nice, okay? I am so about convenience because 202 right now is, is a lot. <laughs> this is what I deal with. My poor kids are so sick. Um, yeah, so three under three will be crazy. Kaden, we need to blow your nose. You poor little sick boy. Um, I'm just going to end the video here because I clearly have my hands full. My poor little kids are so sick. Their noses are running like crazy. Um, oh, okay. Let's not reach for everything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!